We are in Nong Thamai witnessing the people casting their votes on the 27th where the top uh, contenders include Jasmine Lingdo from the NPP, Charles Pingrove from the Trinamool Congress and Jemina Motho from the UDP. I've, uh, I've chosen for the candidate who has done, who we know has done a lot to, uh, contributed a lot to the constituency. Yes. So, we hope he's, that he's yeah, he, continue. we hope that he's still continue. Years. And with a you know, new candidate coming into the fray of the old players in Nong Thamai, how do you see that changing the polit political scenario? Uh, not much changes, but uh, yeah, we hope in the years, in the years to come, or in another five years, we will see, we will see some changes. See a lot of money influencing. Yes, it know. has been really corrupted. Yes. People are selling themselves like money. Hmm. So I don't, I don't think it's right to you know give money and then. Sabotage and, mm. yeah. you, know, sabotage and you lose your uh, integrity and your pride. Your pride yeah. and yeah. Everything voting is not the voting is not for sale. Mm. You know? So it's you need to choose the right right candidate and uh, we hope that the present uh, MLA will still continue for the next five years because he has done a lot. He has contributed a lot. And how would you you know urge the voters, especially the youth, the first time voters, to make the right choice of candidate? Uh, we have uh, we have talked to them, yes. and they have seen also. I think they are aware of what our candidate has done. How do you suggest to you know for people to make the right choice for the right candidate? Right. Very difficult question. To make the right choice, it all depends on people. But uh, well, I think uh, people's assessment nowadays is very wise. Mm -hmm. huh? They see the capability of a candidate. It's more or less personality-based rather than party-based. This is what I feel about it. There's a lot of youngsters who have come, a lot of educated youngsters who have come. You can see management people, you can see, you know, from other professional fields they have come into politics. How do you think a strong opposition strengthens the democracy? You see, I grew up here, okay? All of the years, they do whatever they want, if there's no opposition, okay? I want someone to say the steering wheel, so that we can see some development. When we talk about Meghalaya, because I write for the farmers, I write for the upliftment of the farmers, so my main concern is the farmers. The political scenario in Nong Thamai is indeed unpredictable. We can only wait for the 2nd of March and see how it all turns out. This is Abha Anindita for the Meghalin.